Hi guys, welcome to Friggin' Jeep. My name is John and we just did two videos that'll go on two separate nights of sawing some sticky wood. Just finished getting my hands all cleaned up. I tell you what, it gets on everything. Everything. I have a big heavy jacket on. I'm, actually, it's pretty warm out here today because there's warm coming in. You get warm in the winter, you get rain. So rain's coming in. So I'm trying to get some videos shot. Bank, bank a couple videos so I can get you keep keep going on the sawmill videos for you. I have sold a little bit of the, the wood that I've cut, so it's out of here. This wood here is kind of for my own personal use, I think. I'm not sure how much of it I'm going to use. Still got sticky on me. Anyhow, I, I think uh, if you saw the last video, I think I'm going to try to keep these in order. Um, I had this one and I flipped it over uh, so I could get, get, uh, get it cut. When, you, when you're when you're sawing, you get down to the back, you'll see me every now and then feel underneath there. That's to make sure that there's a flat underneath there. You want a flat on this, on this bed here. I'm going to be cutting one inch, which... I'll cut a heavy one inch. Um, that'll keep me out of these, that'll keep me out of these dogs. These dogs go in at a taper, which is why I hit one of them. A while back see it, instead of going perfectly straight because there's so much play in it it tapers so you might have clearance up here but because the angle of it it goes in just something that uh, caused me a little bit of a problem I I did a video where uh, near near fatal accident it hit the sawmill where I, I came in and I I was cutting it man I was perfect man I was right on here but the lower part it polished off some of the blades some of the teeth um, there, time for time for a touch up. Eh, not too bad. Um, somebody asked if it was a new blade. No, the blade's about the blade now is about a year and a half, maybe two years old. I don't know how old it is, but I spray it down with um, uh, half diesel fuel, half oil mix when I'm done with it to try to keep some of the surface rust from getting on it. Just seems to be. I like the looks of it better, to be honest with you. That's probably more than anything. I don't think it works any better because your saw, your tooth is supposed to be wider than your saw plate here. Okay, so this part of the saw never touches the wood. It's only this part right here that touches the wood. That's all that touches the wood. And then the gullet in here, okay, is supposed to pull the sawdust out. This cuts it and it gets up here. And sometimes I guess it rolls up. I, I don't know what it does. Um, I've had some pictures of it in the past of what it does when it didn't clean out. Anyhow, so I'm going to take and run into the uh, tripod that's behind me. I'm going to put you down at the other end because I got a lot of moving around to do and you probably get a better shot of it down at the other end than this end. Plus I got to go over there to start the engine. Start your engines and I'm just going to take my time going through that and here's the boards we got stacked up so I'll get a few more and if I have time, which I don't know whether I will, I like to sticker them and get them in the greenhouse so they can um, dry out a little bit. I'm going to bring you all the way back here because the sticky wood is getting everywhere. But I'll zoom you in electronically. How's that? Well, maybe we'll even get you further back. Of course, it doesn't make, I guess, further back doesn't, that's kind of stupid, isn't it? If I move it back, I could have not zoomed. Anyway, you, you guys catch a drift that I'm a nut. That's a pretty good spot. You can kind of see it go through and see me pulling the handle see it coming off right about here so put your ears back on because we got to make the Detroit run yes I did put fuel in it took 35 40 gallons I don't know what it took the other day yes I'm going to try to make the blade go back
Now it's mess cleanup time again. I left the uh, carriage down there so I could blow all this off. I blew it off in between the last song and this song just because the sticky wood gets on everything. Um, yeah, got a lot, of, a lot of clean up. And that's the way it is. So, thanks for coming along. I don't know if I'll be in there if I do that or not. Probably not. Old boy's wore out. I think the trim's take you longer. The trim's take you longer to do any than saw on the boards. Oh, feels good to sit down. What I saw back here, I probably only saw on, well, tonight I probably saw it for an hour and a half because you watch three half hour movies or three 20 minutes an hour. That's about all I'm good for. And then I'm wore out, and I normally, and this, once it gets summer, I go in and eat dinner and come back and maybe do another load after dinner or something like that. Same with splitting wood. You guys see me split wood, and you know, it takes me 20 minutes to split a third of a cord and stacked, fastest splitter on YouTube. And um, that's all I'm good for is a tote at a time. And then the next day I might do another one. But just think, if I did a tote every day, at the end of the year I'd have over 300 totes, which would be over 100 cords of wood. So... You know, old man ain't pushing it no more. Uh, and as a famous man once said, toodles, this concludes this show. So hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and we'll see you again soon when it stops raining. Bye-bye.